We had a typical busy family life. I was happily married to my wife Annette, and we had our daughter Davida and son Ariel. We enjoyed outdoor life and our volunteer work. Running the kids around to their activities seemed to keep us on the go. Mornings were an especially busy time, getting our kids ready for school, us for work. We had our routine, always leaving the house at the same time. Annette would drive as she dropped me off at the office first. Thinking back, I'm not sure if we did leave on time that morning or were later or earlier. Regardless, timing was not on our side. It was a freak accident. We were hit head on, doing 90 kilometers an hour. I remember it all seemed to happen very slowly. I took most of the impact. I was able to walk around and initially went to work, but later in the day saw our family doctor. He said, you have some soft tissue injuries, go for physiotherapy. But as time went on, my symptoms of neck and arm pain got worse and he finally agreed to send me for an MRI. The report was confusing. It did not correlate to my symptoms. Thus began the battle to see a specialist. I was told it would be a one to two year wait to see a neurosurgeon. How could I possibly wait that long with increasing pain and discomfort? Luckily, a new surgeon had just started and was willing to see me in a couple months. He was shocked when we looked at the MRI and told me I had serious spinal issues. He advised me to not even sneeze hard as this could be catastrophic. A few days later, I was in surgery, having a three-level cervical fusion. What ensued was many years of pain, drugs, spine injections, a second surgery, and lots of therapy. I dealt with opioid addiction, and many times wondered how could I get through all this. It has been a long 17-year battle, but I have survived. I am back on my feet, taking advantage of my improved health. There is still the chronic pain I will have for the rest of my life. Thanks to my family, I'm able to come to terms with this and not let it control me. I am now in control. I continue to take my drugs, injections and therapies, but it is on my terms and no one else's. I live life cognizant of how a split second can change one's life direction.